Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilyas and welcome to your 18th tutorial on jQuery and in this tutorial we are going to finish working on the chatbot and the reason why we are going to finish doing it is because this tutorial is set uh, th the purpose of this tutorial is set is to teach you guys basics of jQuery and stuff and if we continue uh, doing the chatbot it won't be a uh, jQuery tutorial anymore, it will be tutorial on chatbots but anyway, we used lots of jQuery in this chatbot. So today we only add a new condition to this function AI, which uh, tracks the user input. And um, you know, you can uh, continue working on this chatbot if you are interested in it. So you can add your own conditions and you can uh, expand the chatbot and make it really, uh, really nice. So. And the last condition I want to add to this AI function is I want to teach the chatbot to tell what time it is when I just type, hey, what time is it? Or, hey, can you tell me what time it is or something? All right, we can actually just copy this condition for the previous tutorial. And instead of looking for how are you, we'll look for the keyword time. And instead of saying thanks, I'm good, we will say current time is and just leave the blank the blank space right here and before we uh, display the current time we need to get it using uh, JavaScript built-in functions so the first thing I want to do I uh, just define a variable called date and I set it equal to a new date and then I need a variable um, called, I'll just call it H and it will stand for hours and so what I do, I just type date dot get hours and the new variable called, I'll just copy this string because I'm lazy I'll just say uh, variable M which will stand for, which will stand for minutes and it's going to uh, get minutes for us and now we can display the display this data. Just say h not plus h plus um, parentheses colon and plus m. So this code will display the the, the current time for us. Um, let's just go ahead and run and, and test it. Hello, what is your name? My name is Tester. Nice to meet you, Tester. How are you doing? Um, I'm good. How are you? Thanks, I'm good. And let's say, can you tell me what time is it? And it does. It tells us what time it is. It does. It is 16:18, which is a uh, military time format, and it, it means just 4 p.m. and 18 minutes. So, um, this is it for this tutorial and for this chatbot, but before we finish, I'll explain you some things real quick. And if you want to add some new uh, features to your chatbot, you can use this if condition. And the first, the next thing you would want to do, you would use this message index of condition and here uh, you, you type something what you expect from the user for example if the user uh, if you figured out a way how to get weather or how to get I don't know the current weather we'll just say weather and here you write the code which displays you the weather of course it's it's kinda difficult to get the weather using only JavaScript you would need API and stuff for it but this is just an example and um, if you want to track uh, two, two parameters at the same time or two phrases at the same time, you can use uh, or condition, which is, um, let's just uh, make an example. Um, make sure you have enough empty brackets and enough brackets. So what, I wanna, what I'm going to do is the following. I can use... Uh, this if condition. Let me just figure out how how I uh, how I get this. Yeah, you can use this if condition by uh, using this two uh, vertical lines. I really don't know how you call this sign. And 
just copy this index off again and uh, here for example I'll just say hours and if I type hours or if I type time it will run this code so this is pretty much how or uh, how or um, uh, condition works and you can also use and condition and and condition is just to uh, to and signs like this and the difference, the difference between and condition and or condition is very simple because or condition will uh, execute this code in both cases if this one is, is true or if this one is true or if both of them is true and if you have only if you have the the end condition it will run this code inside of this if statement uh, only if both of them are true so we are going to use or condition right here and we can check it so what is your name my name is jQuery uh, nice to meet you jQuery how are you doing I'm doing good how are you thanks I'm good and I'll just say hours and it displays the current time anyway uh, even even though I said hours and it didn't say time so uh, we are done with the chatbot now so feel free uh, to ask me if you want to add some further functions I will be looking forward to answer your questions and starting for the, for the next tutorial we are going to program um, a new project and it's going to be lots of fun and you will learn a lot uh, of jQuery so I hope you guys had fun building this chatbot and as I said if you have any questions feel free to ask so I'll see you guys in the next tutorial have a nice one